thought it was gonna react. No, it'll react. Okay, come on. Are you, are you coming or? You don't have to. How long are you gonna be? in on my videos lately so from the last video I actually filmed it and produced it on a much higher level production so I'm just super locked in right now I'm super focused I'm feeling good and I also like filming my videos this way hopefully you guys are enjoying them and hopefully you guys appreciate them as much as I do in creating them either way next t-shirt is dropping next video I'll keep you guys updated on that um, through social media like Instagram and stuff next t-shirt drop in next video come back for that can't wait to show you guys for today today's video I have a care package from likewise if you guys remember the we are likewise shift knob I installed on my Subaru a lot of you guys have asked me but I have a full shipment from them we're gonna do like a full showcase of their products and we're gonna install right here right here we're installing a new shift knob and extension on the Z let's get right into this boys yeah what right here. Huh? MTCB. <laughs> Think about this. The first thing you look at when you look inside of someone's manual car is their shift knob. It's the first thing you see, and then you see the steering wheel. That's kind of what makes the interior so lit. This brand is so fire. They make their shift knobs so clean, so quality, and they're just so unique. And I love that you can customize them. You can switch shit out. You can switch this over to here. Use different shift knobs with this extension. You guys have seen my Subaru. Yo, go to my car real fast. Did it. A lot of you guys have asked me so many questions about it. This is the brand. This is where I got it. This is what I've been running with and I absolutely love it and I love the look of it. All right, let's head back. <laughs> me too, though. A lot of you guys have asked me, and finally, I'm able to bring you guys a video today showing you the exact brand. Their products are like coming in, they come in Apple boxes, dude. Check this out. Here's one of the shift knobs I'll show you up front. Likewise, doesn't do any sort of discount. Guys, they don't do discounts. Absolutely no discounts. So you guys, as a viewer to this video today, is super, super special, but they're offering my viewers a 10% off discount code using River. 10 any lug nuts shift knobs or any of the extensions of your choice likewise has only given me a hundred of these to give out so there's only a hundred discount codes available river 10 for 10 percent off they don't give any discounts so take advantage while you guys can go check out the website it'll be linked in the description right after this video but in the meantime i think we should install some shift knobs on the z guys this is officially the second mod to the 350z and as you guys know the wheels super fire Super clean. It's like 130 degrees out here. I'm cooking. Stone's cooking. I can see him bitching right now. He's like doing hand signals to get in the Z, but the Z's AC'd. So let's get in the 350Z and start installing some shift knobs. Let's go. Guys, inside this Likewise care package, Likewise sent me four of their sticker packs. Well, that was kind of lit. That was kind of lit. <laughs> The next thing is likewise sent me three of their latest shift knobs. These two are the ghost. This one's the Daytona. Next, we also have one of their shift knob extensions. And last but not least is some of their accessories. Now, there was a Likewise Lanyard in here. Uh, I dripped out with it. Can I get a sheesh, River, you dripped out with that Likewise Lanyard. It is now currently hanging in the Subaru around the mirror. Um, I actually might put it in here. I don't know yet. Here we have some of the adapters. These allow you to adapt the shift knob to your car. Um, each car is different with different threads, uh, sizing. So these allow you to adapt there. This one's for the Subaru. This one's for the Z. And last but not least, we have the shift boot retainer. <laughs> Game changer. Perfect for this, dude. Look how limpy this is. 
Yeah, and it just tightens it right up. Exactly. Okay. It's crazy. The only tool you're gonna need to provide yourself is a 16 millimeter socket thingy. No, this is not a socket. Oh my gosh. This is an open end wrench. First things first, guys, I'm just, I'm so excited to do this, guys. I, I'm so excited, bro. This is gonna be so G. This is gonna change the drive home from this point, bro. I know. <laughs> Guys, so the first thing we're gonna do here is we're gonna remove the stock shift knob or whatever aftermarket shift knob that you have and you currently don't want anymore because the likewise is just so flame. So I'm gonna turn lefty loosey here, screw this off just like this. And then it comes off. Now I can actually sell this to anybody. So if you want this for, I don't know, I'll sell it to you for a hundred bucks. I'll, I'll, I'll put a little drip of mod sticker on it or something, or I'll sign it and I'll ship it to you if you guys want it. Just, you know, drip of mods at gmail.com. Hit me up. <laughs> 100 bucks, bro. Next thing you guys are gonna wanna do now that you have the dis the shift knob disconnected is you're gonna wanna buy yourself a shift boot retainer. This is how you're gonna install it. You're gonna go to your car and you're gonna somehow, this should just come up and every car is very similar. Oh, there we go, look at that. Okay, well, just like that. Now you're gonna unfold this as so. Okay, so it's zip tied here. I'm gonna cut the zip tie with this nice. knife I didn't even know I had. Cut the zip tie here. Close. Okay, so remove that. Ooh, it's all sticky or something. Remove this. Can you see pretty good on there? Of kind of what's going on. I mean, I don't even know what the hell's going on, but. Okay, so that is like the stock looking shift boot um, clip. Uh, you wanna just throw that out the window as far as possible. <laughs> I'm not gonna do it because I don't wanna go pick it up. If we were at the house, I would just throw it, you know? Yeah. Okay. Now you're gonna take the freaking magnificent, guys, look at the difference in this, man. Can you see the difference here? That's stock, and then the, the likewise is so aggressive, and it just looks so much better. It's actually metal, this is plastic. Such good quality, guys. I just can't even stress it anymore, dude. I just, likewise is my ultimate favorite brand. Unless, unless this shift boot is aftermarket, I don't really think it is. We're gonna be doing a different one here soon. I'm gonna custom customize this whole car, guys. I'm so excited for it, but what we're gonna do is is you're gonna basically put this likewise shift boot retainer through the hole and get it adjusted just like you want it. As soon as you get the shift boot retainer aligned right where you want it, likewise includes a zip tie for you and you're basically just going to zip tie it down. That was the wrong way. Wait, what? This is a fancy ass zip tie. That's the coolest zip tie I've ever seen in my life. So now that we have that, I'm gonna tighten it down a bit. I'm gonna get it like semi snug. And then you can kind of play with it, adjust it, pull it tight, check what it's going to look like. Make sure that your logo is twisted, aligning with your seam line here for when you reinstall it, it's straight. Once you're at that point, you can go ahead and just reinstall your center console. Now that we have the shift boot retainer installed, let's go ahead and let's move on to the adapter. Now you need the adapter, but they basically just allow you to adapt to each of the shift knobs because the shift knobs are all the same size. So the adapter just bridges the two together. So the next step is going to be putting on your adapter. When you install the adapter, there's some awesome features with this thread adapter plus. Let's install this and I'll show you further what I mean. This is a pretty simple install. You just make sure that you have the right size adapter. Likewise, on their website, when you choose your adapter, they have a full chart for you and it actually shows you the different sizes that you need for your cars. So guys, don't even stress about this. Don't even worry. They have all the charts on the website for you. So the thread adapter plus is the specific adapter that I have. They offer a few different ones, but the thread adapter plus is so nice. It's their latest and greatest. It's an easy install. And here is why at the bottom of the adapter, they have a 16 millimeter. What do you call that? Hex 16 millimeter hex allowing you to actually tighten it down to the specific tightness that you want. I mean, you don't wanna get them freaking crazy tight, but you do want them snug, as well as if you were to ever take off your shift knob and it was stuck inside the shift knob, now you have access to actually using a socket or one of these and getting it out of the bottom of the shift knob if it ever got stuck. It has happened before, and now this hex key, this hex bottom of the adapter allows you to get them unstuck. Now that you've seen one benefit to using the Thread Adapter Plus specifically being the 16 millimeter hex key, there's also another very, very beneficial 
thing to using this. Now, looking at it right here, you guys see there is a hex key on top. The hex key is for this hex key that's actually included, or Allen wrench. It's included, and here is the reason why. This Thread Adapter Plus is a Plus product, so it only works with other Plus products, if that makes sense. So if you buy a Plus product off their website, it only works with Plus products. It does not work with previous generations. The reason, the reason, the reason, <laughs> the reason this screw is here on top is because if you sh tighten down the shift knob here, the logo, is not aligned to where it needs to be. You simply unscrew this, you use the hex key right here on top, and you adjust it the same amount of degrees that the shift knob needs to rotate. Now let me hurry and adjust this real fast. And now you guys can see that the shift knob is aligned perfectly with the logo of the shift boot retainer. So I just installed the Rod Stewart Pro extension and look at this, it looks so sick. I had to adjust the top hex key a few times just to get the logo perfectly aligned here. As soon as you have it all installed, you basically just take this shift boot retainer and you push up and it clicks in right there. Now everything is literally solid. It looks good, it's all aligned. Now it's time to choose the shift knob. Stone, which shift knob are we doing, bro? I think we should do the ghost one. I think black. We should, the black ghost? Yeah. Guys, this is what's awesome about Likewise is you can collect all their shift knobs, you can collect all their extensions, and you can mix and match them. So we could run with the white for a bit, and then we can switch it out for the black. But Stone thinks we should just go with the black ghost, so I think we're gonna run the black ghost with the Rod Stewart Pro, Rod Stewart Junior Pro extension. I think that's gonna be the likewise setup for a bit on the 350Z. Oh my gosh, bro, these shift knobs are just so quality. Okay, let's uh, let's go ahead and screw this one on. As you guys can see, the hex key is here as well, making sure all the logos are aligned. Clearly, it's not. Need to do some adjusting, and we will be right back. And just like that, guys, the likewise shift knob and extension is fully installed, and it looks amazing. Remember, 10% off any lug nuts, shift knobs, or any of the extensions of your choice, guys. Likewise has only given me 100 of these to give out. So there's only 100 discount codes available. River 10 for 10% off. They don't give any discounts, so take advantage while you guys can. And the Likewise link is in the description.